Thank you, Andy. Heading on over for one last check in with Jill this morning, getting ready for the long weekend at Campers Village. And, Jill, your aim is to prove to us that <laughs> freeze dried food can be just as good as regular food. Well, we're going to see, and it's cooking right now. Cooking in this bag, we've added our boiling water, and so we're going to enjoy some delicious Mexican rice in just a bit. It's, yes, good things take time. So we're going to talk about bears first and bear deterrence because this is top of mind for people, especially uh, this time of year. So what are some of the things that people should be carrying with them when it comes to going into Kananaskis or into the mountains for the weekend? So we've got uh, air horns, so anything that can make a really loud noise mm -hmm. is really useful, um, kind of as your first line of defense. So we've got air horns um, and bear bangers. Okay. Um, both of them, the idea of them is to make a loud enough noise to scare the bear to run away from you, okay. um, or at least to scurry into the bushes so that you have time to back away on the trail and get back to your car. Um, How loud is this? Extremely loud. Can we try it? For sure. I just press the button. Just push it right down. Ready? Close your ears, everyone. Oh, yeah, that's loud. <laughs> I can see how that would be a deterrent. Okay, and then following that, if the bear actually comes close, what are these? So we got uh, three different cans of bear spray, um, just different strengths. Mm -hmm. And so the bear spray is your last line of defense. Um, if the bear does attack you or is charging you, they shoot five to eight meters. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea is you point and shoot and try and just douse the bear's face in the snout with as much bear spray as you can. Um, and that's just going to create kind of a burning effect in his eyes and his nose in, you know, his most sensitive areas on his face. Five to eight meters is pretty close. It is. Yeah, you got to let... Especially if they're charging. Exactly. And they're charging as fast as a, ra a racehorse. Wow. So you have, to, you have to know how to use this, too, yeah. which is really important. And you guys can navigate that for people. Yeah, okay. When it comes to traveling with that, this is important. Yeah, so that's a bear spray um, canister carrying case, basically. It's got foam on the inside, so you can shape it to the bear spray can to protect it when you're traveling, if it's in a bag, just so that it doesn't accidentally go off all of your clothes or your hiking gear. Right. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you so much. A wealth of knowledge here at Campers Village. We've had a great time. I think we've got enough time to dig in to the rice. It should be done just about now. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay. Oh, okay. And I'm going to grab my spork. Oh, yeah. All right, we're looks waiting. Like, it looks like a muesli or something. Here she goes. I can't, I can't wait to try it. <laughs> Camera's right on you. We got gotcha. you. Hmm. Hey. Okay. Oh, that's actually really good. What is it? <laughs> Explain in detail with your mouthful what it is. Also, can you tell us what you're doing tomorrow in great detail? It's Mexican rice and cheese. It's delicious. Ah. Lions and tigers and bears tomorrow, you guys, at the uh -huh. Calgary Zoo. At the Calgary Zoo. Oh. Right for Zoo Gala. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll take one packet, please, of, of what you're having. <laughs> All right. It looks good. All right, thanks, Jill. We'll see you tomorrow.